Another application of atmospheric pressure in gases and pressure in gases and liquids is the lift pump. A lift pump is used to raise water from wells. The diagram shown here represents the operations of the lift pump during the downstroke and the upstroke. In order to start the pump, water is poured on top of the piston in a process known as priming. So, to start the pump, Priming is done. So that a good airtight seal is made around the piston. So, the operations or functioning of the lift pump is based on two types of strokes, the upstroke and the downstroke. The upstroke is the point where the plunger goes upwards, while for the downstroke, the plunger moves downwards. So during the upstroke, um, valve A closes due to its weight and pressure of water above it. At the same time, air above valve B expands and its pressure reduces below atmospheric pressure. The atmospheric pressure on the water in the well below thus pushes water up past valve Q past, past valve A for this case. Valve B, I mean. The plunger is moved up and down until the space between A and B is filled with water. During the downstroke, yeah. 
valve B closes due to its weight and pressure of water above the piston. And the process is continued as water flows out. H is the handle. Limitations. The atmospheric pressure can only support a column of water of about 10 meters. This is therefore the theoretical maximum height to which water can be raised by the pump at normal atmospheric pressure. In practice, the possible height of water that can be raised by this pump is less than 10 meters because there is a low atmospheric pressure in places high above the sea level. Low atmospheric pressure. In places above the sea level. Then leakages at the valves and pistons.